How exquisite. This is a caterpillar of one of the Saturnid moths. This family has an estimated 2,300 species in it and has some of the largest species of moths in the world. As you can see, when these moths are still in their larval stage, as a caterpillar, they are equipped with a spiky armor that keeps them well protected. These spines aren't just for looks, their bases are actually connected to miniature bladders that are filled with toxin. Prickly spines connected to venom glands that cause stinging pain, rashes, severe itching, and swelling depending on the individual. This is exactly like the buck moth caterpillars that can be found all over the United States and up to Canada. You don't want to touch them either. The potency of each spine is small, but when you get them all together or several of the stingers get broken off in you, it can have an accumulative effect and a more nastier sting. And it's not just spines you have to worry about, it's the hairs too. Caterpillars might look cute and fuzzy, but those hairs are just as dangerous. I myself was stung by the country's number one most venomous caterpillar, the puss caterpillar. The larva of the southern flannel moth. I'll leave a link to that video and what had happened in the description below. Okay, how about the good part? It can't all be bad. They will turn into beautiful, harmless moths that are absolutely gorgeous. but they're not gonna live long in this final stage. They are now adults with the only purpose of mating. They don't even have a digestive tract because as moths, they're only going to live for a few days. After the female emerges from her cocoon, she doesn't waste much time flying around because she's already equipped with the eggs. She instead sends out her pheromones for the males to be able to find her. Once they find each other and her eggs are fertilized, she will lay them in a very protected spot for the life cycle to begin again. The male and female moths, from eggs to protected spiny caterpillars, their life was a success.